Hello my fellow Archons, today I am bringing you an analysis of one of my decks from my own personal collection. Now I know that Sass is not everything, but take a look at this deck Sass, 64, which is semi-average, a little below average probably. But this has to be the worst deck that I own, no matter what the rankings say, um, and I would like to take a look at it. And if you guys have any input on the way this deck works, then please let me know, I would love to learn this deck a little bit better. So the name of this deck is F. Fernandez, Hawkworth's Devoted Duke. It has Brobnar, Logos, and Shadows in it. Um, and the first thing that you might notice is that the Logos has four phase shifts um, and a library access. And that is usually pretty fantastic to have. It can really generate lots of ember for you. It can blast you through your deck super, super quickly. Except uh, let's count and see how many cards actually have bonus ember on them. Five. This deck has five cards with bonus ember on them. So chances are, even with a massive quadruple phase shift library access turn, I will still be generating very, very little ember, and that is really, really sad. Sure, I'll probably have deck efficiency through the roof, but, uh, you know, after all the times playing this deck, I still feel like I make no progress, even after having a giant logos turn. Okay, so then what exactly does this deck do? It doesn't generate ember by playing cards. It doesn't generate ember by using creatures. It doesn't fight because there are barely any creatures to begin with, and no. Even with the two Gauntlet of Commands, right up in here, this deck still does not fight. What am I meant to do? Fight with my Valen Analyst? Fight with my old Bruno? I don't... no. None of the creatures in this deck even have fight abilities to begin with. They are all reap, reap effects uh, that are pretty mid. So this deck really doesn't fight either. At least there is some pretty decent Ember Control in House Shadows. Uh, we do have the Double Urchin, the Double Skeleton Key, Double Relentless Whispers, Nerve Blast, Old Bruno. There's that much going for it at least. So far it looks like the only way, the only good way this deck generates Ember is by stealing it from your opponent. And that can only take you so far. Alright, let's turn our attention back to the Brobnar for a second here. Clearly we will not be controlling our board through power. So, great! It looks like we get to do it through stunning, wonderful, double smash, double tremor. That's exactly the way I want to be controlling the opponent's creatures, is through stunning them, temporarily. I guess there is some nice direct damage, uh, you know, with the, with the cannon here, with the lava ball. That's pretty nice, at least. And wonderful, anger, so I can fight into a creature with my urchin. Just great. And to add insult to injury, we even have a smith here as well. I'm sure I'll be able to use that pretty reliably. Well, there is actually a Bouncing Death Quark in Logos, so that might offer some good board control. Except I do need creatures on my side of the board for that to happen, so maybe it's not quite as good as I thought. I mean, seriously, this deck has a 13 to 5 creature to ember ratio. How pitiful is that? How Bruh. pitiful is that? And these stats bring tears to my eyes every time I look at them. Look at this, zero board wipes, zero scaling ember control, zero key cheat cards, and, and two cards that archive. Awesome. I've archived my skeleton key. Tremble in fear. All right. I don't know what else to say about this deck. Those tournament stats that you see up there, right up here, are not mine. Uh, this deck actually belonged to somebody else before that person gave it to me, for which I'm eternally grateful. So let me know what you guys think about this deck. If you guys have any input on this deck, your own analysis, your own things that you've seen in this deck, let me know. Also, let me know what your worst deck is. I am very interested to see if you have anything quite as bad as this. I'm sure you guys probably do. It's not hard to open a bad deck in Keyforge. All right, and that has been the analysis, the deck analysis of F. Fernandez, Hawkworth's Devoted Duke. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. See you later.